Hello everybody, Charlie's Cards here. How's everybody doing this evening? Beautiful day to open some wax gold. You don't know yet? This stuff is blowing up. Which is exciting for the hobby, but in the same right, I think, uh, I think it's, uh, it's pricing me out of it. So, I, uh, I bought quite a few of, of this selection here at my uh, local card store, my LCS. And uh, so I wanted to open a couple more packs. It's uh, been really dull lately uh, for the simple fact there's nothing at Walmart. Unfortunately, I'm not interested in opening day or big league, and I don't know how many uh, how many different series we're gonna get. If uh, if anybody knows that there's a website that that has uh, the releases for this year for the different tops cards and uh, Panini, I'm not really interested in Panini, but the tops releases, I'm curious if they're gonna release gold. I mean, uh, Chrome and Chrome Update this year. With, you know, I guess we got to first determine if there's going to be a baseball season. So, what I got here is two packs of 1987 Fleer Wax Gold. Uh, have really excited about this. This is by far. One of my favorite sets I think I've ever opened. This is an 84 Don Ross. 1984 Don Ross. And Don Ross, I love it because of the Rated Rookie. Because of the Diamond King. Because of the way they do things. I really liked Don Ross back in the day. If you saw another video I had... The last time I opened a pack, I pulled this Harold Baines out. Uh, second year Harold Baines, third year Harold Baines, fourth year Harold Baines. Harold Baines, White Sox. So, uh, 80. And I guess it's an 80. And this is an 84, fourth year Harold Baines. Really cool card. This is the design we're going to be looking for in that. With the blue back. It's a beautiful Harold Baines. Nicely centered. I just can't figure out what this is up here in the corner. Looks like a print streak or something. Besides that, it's a good looking card. And then we got uh, 84 Flare, uh, which uh, will contain the same exciting folks. So let's begin. Uh, let me get my list out here. All right, so first we're gonna do the 87 Flare. And 87 Fleer, Barry Bonds, Bo Jackson, Will Clark, Barry Larkin, uh, Rafael Palmero, those kind of guys there. So I like I like the Fleer and the uh, and the Don Ross uh, for the simple fact it doesn't have gum in it. I am a tops guy through and through, but I'm sure enjoying this uh, th this other stuff too. I mean, it's got it's got just the nostalgia. That pirate sticker. Hopefully, I can get it to work. That's cool. That's where I got this one out of a. I'm not necessarily a pirates fan, but I enjoyed watching We Are Family. I showed you my pirates hat. If you haven't seen that. Uh, go back and watch some of my older videos. I, I've made a lot, and over over time, uh, I've gotten a little bigger, and everybody uh, doesn't know that I've got over 50 videos, so a lot of fun stuff in there. So this is what they look like. That's a 87 Fleer. It's got the back there. Fleer number one. This is card number one. 1987 Fleer Company. 
And I thought this was near. I don't know if you guys have seen the Pro Scout report. It gives you different ratings uh, for the player. Hot, the slider and the sinker. Thought that was cool. Another pitcher. Toby Hera. So this is what the uh, batting, when it's a position player, shows uh, some, of, some of the scouting report. That guy's been in the league a long time. Mike Fitzgerald. Pat Tabler. There's an Andre Dawson. Rick Honeycutt. Davey Lopes. Been in the league for a long time. Was on the A's, the Dodgers. Now he's on the Astros. Mookie Wilson. And even Slyke. Huh. Rudy Law. Spray hitter. Dead ball hitter, power hitter, single. Spray hitter. Huh. Okay, we got one more pack of that. 87 Fleer. 87 Flair. You know, they even go as far as people uh, selling these for like two, three dollars a piece on on uh, eBay. I'm like, what? More pirates. A couple pirate packs here. Pirates packs. Joel Youngblood. San Francisco Giants. Oh, these are, there's a Jose, can you see? Bill Duran, all right, what do we got here? It's like it's nicely centered. Second year card. Jose Conseco. I think that's the best one we've gotten out of this uh, this set so far. Jeff Reed, Kent Howe, Lamar Hoyt. So, what does his say? Power hitter. Down and away. Down and in. Right-handed batter, yeah. Down and in for Jose Canseco. Okay. Dennis Rasmussen. Rob Deere. Joel McKinnon. Sal Butera. Rob Forsh. Kurt Gibson. Ted Simmons. Buddy Black. Well, so far you got to beat that second year Jose Canseco 
All right, we're going to do the Don Ross last. Let's get this 84 Fleer. So 84 Fleer is Don Mattingly and Daryl Strawberry. Daryl Baines was 81. So that's Todd Stottlemyre. Todd. Oh, Tim Stoddard. All right. See, this is the Fleer. This is where I got the Pirates. Pretty cool stickers. Okay, this is our uh, Fleer here. And this is the back. Did you know? 1977 Rookie of the Year Award and AL Rookie Pitcher of the Year Award. Led Tigers in 77 and ERA of 309, 218, and 16 complete games and 15 wins. Dave Rosima. Rosima. Nope. All right. Let's find something fun. Marty Bystrom. Terry Forster. Carmelo Martinez, Dennis Lamp, there's a Jim Rice, Hall of Fame Red Sox. Goes with the Kurt Gibson. There's a Steve Garvey, super special star. Steve Garvey, NL Ironman. Steve Garvey on the Padres. National League Ironman. Iron Man Steve Garvey is currently the Major League's most durable player. He had not missed a game since 1976 in compiling a streak of 1,207 games played in a row, a National League record. Steve Garvey. And Tim Stoddard. The Orioles. Tim Stoddard was the tallest player ever on the Orioles team. He was 6'7", played baseball and basketball at North Carolina State. 6'7", 215 pounds. All right. Well, looks like Jose is still the best. All righty. This is the one I want to see if I can get open. you see these are beautiful there's a puzzle piece and that's a puzzle piece of Duke Snyder Duke Snyder puzzle piece well there's a Hall of Famer right on top and uh, let's see Yeah, 1980 is his rookie card. Lee Arthur Smith, 1980. So this is a same as the Harold Baines, I believe. Same, 1980. Yep. 81 is a rookie card. Tim Lee Smith, Hall of Famer, though. Jose is not a Hall of Famer. Lee Smith was a inducted into the Hall of Fame through the Veterans Committee. So he uh, he exhausted his opportunity to make it with the uh, sports writers and all those ding-dongs 
that uh, elect people in the Hall of Fame. And Lee Smith made it in with the veteran's ballot. And uh, you look at his ERA, 1983, 66 games, 100 innings pitched with an ERA of 1.65. But look at that card. Isn't that amazing? Good looking card there. So this is the one I want to... Davy Lopes with the Oakland Athletics. Al Cohen. There's the Diamond Kings. Haven't heard of him. Andre Thornton with the Cubs. Haven't heard of him. John Castino, Minnesota. Haven't heard of him, unfortunately. Gary Matthews. Daryl Motley. Rob Piccolo. Clean card. Isn't that beautiful? Good looking card. Played for the A's. Thought so. Pretty cool hat. Decent photography. The, the whisk at the bottom. Awesome. Steve Bedrosian. The Braves. Off centered. Steve Lake. Andy McGaff again, the Giants. Steve McCaddy. Look at that one. That is awesome. Dave Parker. Dave Parker, 1979. I think I have his rookie card. But that's that's a cool one, not centered. That cool set, man. Leon Roberts and Dick Ruthven. Amazing set. I gotta get some more of those. That 84 Don Ross is amazing. What a beautiful set. So I got a Dave Parker and a Lee Smith out of that pack, which is great. I think the Lee Smith might be a little better centered. Yeah, they're both about the same. Crisp, beautiful. Right out of the pack, fresh. All the corners are good. Dave Parker, look at that. Pretty good photography. And I got a nice, crisp 1987 uh, Fleer Jose Canseco, which looks pretty good. So that's why we do the pack fresh. Hard to buy packs nowadays, especially on eBay. You never know what you're gonna get. So be very careful when you're buying them at, on eBay. That's why I prefer, uh, I prefer if I'm gonna shop, I'm gonna shop for uh, older cards. I like to do the rack packs because they're visible. Because you can see that they're sealed and that they're visible and that the cards are in the proper orientation. 
This is an 89 Don Ross. So it'll always have a sequence to them. In other words, the puzzle piece on the backs, the players on the front kind of thing. So that's why I like a rack pack. I bought these from a very reliable source being my uh, local card shop. So I was able to get a few. I'm really excited about going back and getting some more of those. Those were a lot of fun. But these, these, uh, man, these, these Don Ross. Look at that. That's a really cool Lee Smith and Dave Parker. I enjoyed that. I hope you guys did too. So, you know how it goes. Give me a like. Give me a comment. Please subscribe if you're a part of the community and you have a YouTube channel. I will subscribe back. And I also want to mention that I have over 50 other videos. If you've enjoyed watching some of this, could you go back through my channel and support some of the other videos I have? If you see anything that you know that I like that you uh, have done something on, go ahead and give me a comment on that. I'll go check it out. Uh, that's us working together as a community, having fun, spending some time looking at baseball cards. That's what it's all about. I hope you enjoyed this little break. Wax gold. That's where it's at. I also got a nice 1984 Don Ross perfectly conditioned um, wrapper. So that's good. I'll put that in my collection. I've got a bunch in a big old book that I'm uh, just pressing. I don't know why, but you know, I mean, one guy's trash is another guy's treasure, I guess. All right. So uh, that's what we got. I really hope you enjoyed that. I think Dave and Lee and Harold enjoyed it. And that's what's important. Jose came along for the ride. Thanks much, everybody. Charlie's Cards, over and out.